G'day guys, welcome to Lucy's channel, Lucy Lane, the Queen of Balmain. Today, we're gonna to talk about five things you need to know before getting a German Shepherd. All right, number one, you need to be a strong leader. A German Shepherd doesn't wanna look up to a goddamn pussy. Okay, a little bit harsh, but seriously, they don't. You need to be a strong leader. Now, this can be a, a, a massive topic, but we're gonna give it a little overview and just some of my own examples. So, being a strong leader with a German Shepherd, for instance, would be uh, installing good house manners and boundaries, hello, for your German Shepherd, because they need to be led and they're looking up to you for guidance. So, for instance, Lucy knows if I leave the door open, she's not allowed to go out the front door without my permission. So I can leave that open all day and, she, and that goes on straight onto a busy road. She won't go out there unless she has permission because of the rules that I've set. Lucy is not allowed to hop on the bed or the couch without my permission because that's how we set the rules in the house. Lucy's not allowed to beg for food when we are eating nor is she allowed to bark excessively inside the house. Another example is if someone knocks at the door or opens the front latch, Lucy will bark once in a quick growl and then she will look up to me to go, hey dad, just letting you know there's someone here, you go deal with it. Your dog shouldn't be barking excessively and you're telling it to shut up and it still continues to bark. That is poor leadership. Your dog is taking charge. Your German Shepherd is taking charge of you. So another example of this is going for a walk, an on-league dog walk. Now, I'm not one of these uh, crazy people who say your dog must walk at the heel. Um, there's a time and a place for that, but I am an advocate of your dog must be walking on a loose, slack lead. There should be some slack in it, not tight, and you shouldn't be walking down the street like this. Because if you're doing this and your German Shepherd's rearing and carrying on and dragging you to the park, they are leading the way. They are the boss of you, even if you don't know it. So being a leader for your German Shepherd is super important because if you don't become a strong leader, they will become the leader. If you can't make decisions for them, They'll make decisions for themselves and then they will start making decisions for you. And this has happened time and time and time again. This can lead to a million problems down the track, behavioral issues, German Shepherd lashing out, it not feeling safe, not feeling secure, because it's having to make the decisions and make the calls that you as a German Shepherd, should, shepherd owner should be making. So being a strong leader is extremely important. Now, this actually leads on to the second thing, which is German Shepherds need some form of obedience training every single day. Now, this doesn't have to be a highly regimented, structured routine that you must follow day in and day out, but this must be some form of mental stimulus so they get the feeling of satisfaction of working because this dog is a working breed. Now, for Lucy, for instance, this ranges from a whole different like whole different variants of activities, anywhere from doing photo shoots in the city where I have her primed, I have her listening, I'm getting her to do all of her basic commands, sit, stay, come, yada, yada, yada. I'll have her off lead in certain areas where I need her super switched on. I'll have her propped up on something. Um, this could be off lead training at the park. This could be doing um, obedience routines in like a busy park with lots of kids and children. It's always different, but we're always doing some form of obedience training. It doesn't matter if it's a photo shoot or a specifically structured routine, but Lucy's always getting that, that mental stimulus that this dog breed requires. Right, this leads into number three. German Shepherds need a truck ton of exercise. This is highly important unless you want your poorly put together IKEA furniture torn apart. So essentially, Lucy gets about 90 minutes of pretty decent exercise every day. This ranges from on lead walking and this 
also ranges off lead walking. And I'll actually throw in her kind of half an hour, whatever routine we're doing, like obedience training routine and that. So this all kind of comes under the same uh, category. Right, number four, German Shepherds have a silent killer. Yes, Lucy, you heard this right. You got that damn eye booger. And it's not eye boogers. The German Shepherds have this problem where their stomachs can flip inside of them and kill them. It's as brutal and as grim as that. And if you don't notice it straight away and get them to an emergency vet straight away to be operated on and their stomachs turned back around and secured inside of them, nine times out of 10, they are going to die. Now, this is very, very, very grim. I've always been aware of this problem, but I got really aware of it when it actually started happening inside our friend circle. So it hasn't personally happened to Lucy, but it's happened to three of her friends in Sydney that we regularly see. And unfortunately, one of these German Shepherds did die. So a way to combat this and to help prevent this from happening is to monitor and be very vigilant where food is consumed to when your dog exercises. So, Luce, are you right? <laughs> I know it's sad, isn't it? The sad topic. But, um, so, we have a strict rule of thumb. Lucy doesn't eat 45 minutes before exercise, and she won't eat 45 minutes until 45 minutes after she exercises. So this is actually a bit easier for us to regulate because I like to essentially have Lucy a little bit hungry through the day because I like her to be switched on, willing to work for her toys and her food. And I actually like to feed her in the evening two smaller meals spaced apart, but that's her time when she's really relaxed and she's earned her food for the day. So again, guys, this can happen to any German Shepherd. Number five, not all German Shepherds are equal. What I mean by this is just understand what German Shepherd you are getting. Like for instance, a $40,000 protection dog is going to be different to a $2,000 family German Shepherd dog. Okay, so just understand. If someone were to break into Bob's house with a $40,000 protection German Shepherd, most likely that German Shepherd will severely maim that person. Whereas a $2,000 family German Shepherd may still carry on the instincts that German Shepherds inherently have of guarding and protecting their property, but understand that your dog isn't trained in personal protection isn't trained in bite work, isn't trained in PSA. Just understand what you're getting. Alrighty guys, you get a bonus round. I thought of one last thing, so you're gonna get a six. All right, so here it goes. You will become a Karen magnet. Well, kind of. <laughs> I say this jokingly, but not joking. So you are only going to meet two types of people now that you own a German Shepherd. You're gonna meet the people. The first type of person you're gonna meet is a person that will absolutely love German Shepherds. They're gonna come running up to you with arms open and practically make out with your dog whilst telling you specific points of their childhood where they had a family guardian angel of a German Shepherd. These type of people are fantastic. We all love these people. The next type of people we don't love as much. They're going to be the types of people who will actually physically pick up their children and run in fear in the opposite direction as you're strolling casually down the street with your dog in one hand and a skinny latte in the other because you look so, oh so intimidating with a German Shepherd. Also, don't be butt hurt if you may occasionally have the odd Karen ask you to put your overly vicious family German Shepherd on the lead because their little cavoodle won't stop barking at you. So just understand that things like this can happen. And if that happens, just tell them to take a hike and you continue doing, you just continue doing you at the park with your loyal German Shepherd. Alrighty guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed our now six things to know before getting a German Shepherd. Please, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. 
You're such a good girl. See, lastly guys, we're doing work right here. She's doing training. This is essentially training. See, every day is training. Good girl, Luce. Nice job.